Early in 2022, I put out a video covering a unique Japan exclusive add-on for the PSP known as the PSP OneSeg. The device allows you to view digital OneSeg TV signals on a PSP, making it a pretty cool novelty in the time it was released and even today, even if performance can be a bit spotty. Well, the PSP wasn't the only portable console from the era to receive said adapter, as its rival, the Nintendo DS, received one as well. So let's take a look at it and see if it performs any better. Unlike the PSP version, the DS Terebi comes in a cardboard box. Its contents are a bit different as well, such as this white cable, here, or these little suction cups, here. I'll get back to those later. Anyway, here is the unit itself. Compared to the PSP version, this has a much more premium and sturdier feel, despite its arguably less flashy appearance. You unfold it, then plug it into the system as such. It has two little antennas that should be pulled out as well. When the system is on, the DS Terebi should appear the same as any regular game you'd have in the system. Once booted up, you can have it scan for channels. I only got it to pick up two channels in my area on my first try, but the second attempt managed to pick up five. This is much better than what I found on the PSP, which was much more finicky in this area. I'm guessing this is due to the fact that it has two rather large antennas in comparison to the PSP's single tiny one. Anyway, once you're done with the channel scan, you should be able to watch TV. Awesome. Okay, one big issue. Be careful not to bump it or the software will crash. That's one thing the PSP version had an advantage in as the software you used was installed in the system and not the receiver itself. While the reception wasn't perfect and some channels couldn't come in at all, the ones that did came in very consistently with little to no drops. In comparison, I had a huge headache getting the PSP one seg to show me anything without constantly losing the signal. Another huge plus, because of the DS's foldable nature, it makes setting the thing up for hands-free viewing much easier. In which case, you also don't need to worry so much about accidentally crashing the software by bumping the thing. It's a pretty decent viewing experience. Well, aside from the fairly small screen of the DS Lite I was using, that is definitely one thing where the PSP seemed to have an advantage. But this seems to work on any version of DS, including 3DS. Here it is in my American 3DS XL. That is definitely a much better screen for this though the placement of the card slot is a bit unfortunate. I guess if you fold it like this, that improves things a bit. Let's talk about that cable I brought up earlier. You can attach the included suction cups as such, plug it into the unit as seen here, and you've got an external antenna. And let me tell you, once you're using this thing, every channel comes in perfectly. Even the ones that weren't coming in at all initially came in with zero issue. On top of that, it was able to find even more channels when asked to scan, though manually entering your area still gives you the most results. Regardless, a very useful addition. In fact, I tried it with the PSP version and had the same results, giving me zero signal drops. Sony really dropped the ball by not including an external antenna with their version. Here it is in conjunction with the 3DS version as well. This might be the best setup of the three. Prior to making this video, I posted a short of this device in use on both YouTube and TikTok. Surprisingly, the TikTok got crazy huge numbers from both US and Japanese viewers. The reason I bring this up is because I ended up hearing from quite a few Japanese people that have, or still do, use the thing. For example, one user said they'd used it on their work breaks to watch soccer. Another said their mom still uses one to this day when they're in the kitchen. And there are more aside from those. 
I guess this thing was a bit more popular than I had initially assumed. If, for some reason, you're in the market for a DS or PSP one seg receiver, I'd say both are equally worth using if you have an external antenna, but the DS version is the overall winner in terms of usability. I should also mention to prospective buyers that you cannot use this device in countries that don't broadcast one seg TV signals. So, American and British viewers, you are out of luck. Now, I can't make a guarantee on the device working in any countries aside from Japan, but considering the PSP One Seg is reported to work in other countries that broadcast One Seg, this should too. For clarity's sake, the countries that broadcast One Seg signals are as shown. If you happen to give this, or the PSP version a try, let me know how it goes. Anywho, I think that about wraps things up. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe to see more videos like it in the future, as well as series reviews, comprehensive looks at console launch lineups, and more. With that said, thanks for watching The Legend of Games.